Well, it's Mike here at Shopper's Den again. Um, the second part to the video was to show you um, the extras I couldn't show you in the first video. It was too long. So, uh, here we go again. I'm going to pick a character that I know is complete and has an uh, amazing box. Let's start it up, and I'm going to give you a view as to the options you get as your character grows from level 10 on. You'll have access to the kind of things I'm going to show you. And you definitely need a spaceship for the uh, section I've got coming up in this. So, just waiting for this to load. Yeah. Wish I would have installed this on my SSD. Would have been a lot faster. So here we are with my character tallying. So, as you can see, I've got my companion, and there's the guild bank, which all the guild members have access to. And there's my guild ships, two of them. One's a train, the other one's an actual imperial ship, starship. And when you go in the guild bank, as you can see, I can, every member can drop anything they want into this bank, deposit money or withdraw cash. And if you need it, you can take it out. Uh, the guild master can set limits as to how much to withdraw and or how much items you can withdraw. As you can see here, I've got a fairly large guild. I've got a lot of people in my guild. And I have the same thing for the Republic side. The Galactic Star Lords is this side. So, don't forget to use the install code. And, uh subscribe in game and maybe subscribe and like and ring the notification bell on this channel and I could use some information like uh, if you think I've missed something or and maybe if you want to see a video on how to do something else let me know so I can make the video for you show you how it's done and as you can see here I've got a lot of mounts I've been collecting them and as I collect them I can keep them in my collections and I can unlock them for all characters or newly created characters as well but I only have a specific view I really like, but the option is to have one character who collects everything and opens it for your entire account. So whether you're on a Republic or Imperial side, these mounts, once I unlock them in collections, are available to everyone on my side. And I hit random mount, and this is the kind of thing I do for the ones I checked as my favorites. It will randomly go through and pick them. I do love this vehicle. I think this is actually something that could actually be made today. People are trying. A decent looking vehicle. As you can see, there's a lot of people on. Here's the Galactic Trade Market. So in here, you type in what you're looking for. You have also have options to look, to look directly through for items that are on the list. So I'm going to have to put Mount in here. Oops. So anything that's got the word Mount in it will show up. And based on the cash you have on you, you can purchase things. As you can see, mount is related to other armors or everything, so you can look through them and check and see what you like or may not like. But let's just say you're looking specifically for mounts only. You just do the drop down, look for the word mount. Yeah, there we go. And then you got it in there, you hit search. And only mounts will show up. And you get sorted by the cheapest first. Then there's the most expensive first. Which, that's a crazy amount of money. One billion, come on. Some people you'll find have reckless amounts. But if you shift click on the item and then search again. You then sort it by cheapest. You'll find that you can find people who are more reasonable with their prices. And you'll be able to buy the amounts that you like. And then you can just flip through the pages and find ones you like. And you hold down control and click on one and it'll give you a display of the mount itself. Then way you can just check through them. Have fun looking at them, see what you look like on them. Some of them have flares. And you use control Z or control X, I think it is. When you hit that, then it activates something that the, mo the mount is capable of doing. It's, it's actually pretty cool. They got some neat looking mounts that do some neat stuff. So, close the inventory. As I was trying to show you in the first video, here's the uh, fleet station, so the Imperial and the Republic both have one, and you can click on anything in that tab 
to be able to find what you're looking for in the fleet. So right now, for some reason, it's not showing up, which I find odd. So I'll just directly drive to where I'm going and show you. Oh yeah, yeah, I forgot. Uh, on the way here, there's a little boxes like this, right? Modification station. So it opens a window in your inventory, and then you open your account, and then what you do, uh, your character, and if you want to upgrade something, you drag and drop it into there, and then at the bottom of the list, it'll ask you, you know, usually it says upgrade to whatever level that you're at, and then you drop your item in there, you want to upgrade it to, and then you okay it, and then, then you have that extra. Bonus damage, bonus critical, bonus healing, bonus shielding, bonus whatever it is you decide to put in. Now running through the fleet here. Normally there's a lot of vendors down there for... Uh, this place is usually jam-packed full of items to do, things to do by... I'm gonna go to the guitar, uh, Cartel Bazaar. I'm gonna show you the lower end of the station. As you can see there's departure terminals to go to other planets and places here go down the elevator show you the bazaar so in here there's also a ton of different things you can do modification stations vendors for crafting items because you can can craft your own items too you can make your own weaponry upgrades so looking through all this still not showing everything in here normally it's just jam-packed on this map full of stuff so Maybe the update's coming out right away. And a modification station, character change, save point, mailbox. And you also got your inventories. And over there is the mounts. You can go get your mounts there if you have a specialized one. And look through my inventory. I've got a lot of stuff in here. Customizations, armors, modifications. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, this is the galaxy map. This shows you the entire galaxy you're fighting in. All the various planets, uh, space missions that you have with your personal spaceship. Not the starship, but spaceship. So there are two different space missions that you can take. As you can see, there is a lot of places to go in the galaxy. A lot of things to do. So, what I think I'm going to do is take you to my spaceship. I'm a bounty hunter, so I'll take you there, and I'm going to accept a mission. I'm going to do one. Oh, and don't forget, this is the tabs for if you're bored and you don't want to do anything, but you want to have some fun doing PvP stuff, or team stuff, you go into these tabs, and you can pick various types of PvP, or joint operations, or planets to fight through here, uh, you name it, flashpoints, and then there's all your missions, lockouts, if you have any, which I don't, so you can challenge all of these different things and have a really, really good time doing it. Some is complicated, some aren't, but it also depends on your armorings, your level, everything else. Some battles you'll lose, some battles you'll win, but it's uh, totally worth it. So here we go, I'm on a personal starship tab allow me to go directly to my spaceship without having to run through the station and find my ship. <laughs> Which isn't that hard, but it gives you the opportunity to just to click on it, go straight there. So i uh, let it load up here. I'll show you my spaceship. Oh yeah. You can also buy modifications for your spaceship. You can uh, uh, through the legacy. Well, if your legacy is high enough, you can purchase your own, say, cargo hold, guild ship cargo hold, you start training dummies, test your weaponry, your healing, and and then a galactic market for your ship. And then there's your mission console for the expansions, and your hollow terminal for while you're on storyline missions. And your, of course, your mailbox and your ship. And here is the deck of your ship. And characters, that, you know, your companions that are fighting alongside you throughout your story. And then you have a bunch of missions. And they're rated by, uh, the easiest way to tell you how this works is, if it says 20, 
and then it has a high, medium, or large reputation reward, that means you better have the best of the best on your st on your ship upgrades, or you are going to just die immediately. And then there's the lower end ones where you really don't need to have terribly high modifications, but it will allow you to do the missions and get through them and get the rewards associated with it. One trick I could tell you right now is <laughs> use your starship once you get it to start doing most of the missions because that will level you up faster than running around the planets and then while you're running around on planets you will be able to just destroy things. Oh, except this. Here we go. I will chat with you some more right after this space mission.
Well, as you can see, I didn't pick the easiest one, but this is semi-easy. Can be accomplished with mid-grade upgrades to your ship. So, as you can see, you got to keep moving around. Um, the space lines are firing at you. You don't want to sit in one place, or your armor rate goes down. The red bar on your icon on the bottom left is your ship itself armor, and then the blue icon around the eye picture of your ship is your shield. So if you don't shoot, your shield regenerates. You gotta find ways not to shoot. Right click on your mouse is your missiles. And if you drag, hold it down and drag the icon over top of whatever you want a missile and then let go, it'll fire multiple missiles. I think up to four. So and your left is your your lasers, of course. this is a bit of a harder one because the ships take a few blasts to shoot them down. In the beginning, your one blast or hit will kill them until you get higher up in levels and you will find them a little bit harder to kill. Them. On another note, we will be doing more mystery boxes. We have two of them on their way. I uh, theme mystery box Clism 53 off of uh, eBay. It's a uh, Avenger mystery box. We're dying to get our hands on that one. So valued at 100 bucks. So who knows, right? $100 mystery box. And then there's one that we've already ordered, but there's a mail strike going on here. So we're kind of waiting for that one to show up. It's a $50 mystery box. And no theme to it at all, just mystery items. As they all say, worth more than the $50 valued at X amount of dollars, which is above the, the asking price, which I can tell you, most mystery boxes don't end up with a uh, higher item content value than what you pay for the box. So just keep that in mind if you're going to buy mystery boxes. Back to the video. the both of us by doing so and if you join my guild that benefits you as well so as you can see I got the reward I finished the mission completed everything you don't get that if you don't complete everything so it'll ask you to retry the mission if you fail or quit so once I get back to my ship I can show you the reward yeah. takes so dang long there we go so as you can see, complete command points are because I'm over level 70. You right click it, reputation is important. As I'm about to show you, in your legacy you click on reputation, and I've completed a lot of stuff. So I only have one thing left for reputation, and I've gotten quite through quite a bit of it. So I don't have too far to go, but with the amount of reputation points, the higher up the level you go, the, long, the larger the amount of points you need per level, so it takes forever. So here we go. I'm going to take you to my guild ship. And I build this guild ship 
uh, you have to purchase and earn and complete things. You get items as you do your story or your two expansions, and they give you drops that give you decorations for your stronghold or for your guild ship. And I generally try to drop it all into my guild ship bank so I can use it on the guild ship. And I can give access to other clan members to decorate as well. So, I mean, they can donate their items to the guild ship for me to be able to put them up, or they can put them up themselves. So, here we go. Beautiful ship. And here we are. Yep. See, when you get in here, initially when you buy it, this whole place is clear. There's nothing in here. Not a damn thing. Empty. So, you just start buying items on the market, buying them through the cartel market, earning them through the storyline and or expansions, and you just start putting them out in place. And as you can see here with the console, I can take my starship uh, to command ship to anywhere I want to take it to to help support me or my troops on that planet that we're fighting on. And it's amazing because it does orbital bombardments on the planet while you're fighting. Especially when you're fighting other guilds trying to take over the planet that they've conquered. So yeah, you get there. There are our mission objectives. Uh, you know, they show up where you can actually go and someone's offering a, a chance to defend their planet or someone's trying to take it. You know, as it goes. There's way too much to discuss in this game. And as you decorate, you build one room like I did here where... You can purchase all your items, or items to build, decorations, or anything. It's just nuts. And I put a galactic market in here. You name it. Everything we need on a, on a guild ship to be able to not be on the fleet. We can just do it right from our guild ship. And there are elevators that lead to other places. Which, once you go down to them, require a ton of money and items and everything you need to be able to unlock that room. To get in there, and then you have to decorate it too. So it gets quite expensive. But if you're into this game, like so many are, it's not a problem. And the other floors that there are on the guild ship. So, you've had a chance to see it all. I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the notification button, and or subscribe. Use the link to install the game, subscribe to the game, and uh, I hope to see you in-game. I hope to see you on the channel. And uh, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.